Well, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has come out with a list of the facilities most at risk should an earthquake happen. Turns out the plant topping the list is not in quake-prone California, but 24 miles north of New York City. We're talking about the Indian Point 3 power plant. The plant with the second highest risk is the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station in Plymouth, Massachusetts. And rounding out the top three, the Limerick 1 nuclear plant in Limerick, Pennsylvania. But there are others as well. I'm joined now live by the Discovery Channel's Aton Edwards, who wrote the book Preparedness Now. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having Let's me. Let's start with the first one, Diablo Canyon. We think of right. what's out in the West Coast because of a fault there. Yeah, a couple of faults. We have the, obviously, the San Andreas Fault, which is the largest, and there's a new fault that was discovered nearby. Mm -hmm. And Diablo Canyon's pretty new. It's like 1974, and it was built to withstand about a 7.5 magnitude uh, earthquake on the Richter scale. So. And, and, and many people around that area. There's also Oyster Creek Nuclear Station, right? Yeah, Oyster Creek is, is interesting because Oyster Creek's, the design of Oyster Creek is almost the same as the uh, Japanese uh, uh, reactors. So it's almost the exact same quake, uh, exact same uh, design. So that's something that's really interesting. 320,000 in people in that area, that's a concern, and very old. Yeah, it's, it's very old. I think it was built in 1969, so it's 42 years old. And, you know, it's, uh, New Jersey is very dependent on its nuclear power, so it's, uh, it's really, there's a lot of people in the area, it's concentrated population right nearby. So And only one roadway, we understand, as well. Yeah, and it's not built to withstand, like, really serious earthquakes, obviously, because it's not an earthquake okay. zone, and it's older. Let's go to the next one. Which is uh, the, let's see, the uh, Oyster Creek, we got the Indian Point, we got the, and the last one would so be... The Diablo Canyon, which we were talking about earlier, 77,000 people in that area. Yeah, it's, it, there's an enormous uh, concentration of the population in this area. And, you know, we've got to be concerned about the roads. We've got to be concerned about the emergency alert system for the people. Mm -hmm. We've got to be concerned about the health care facilities nearby. We've got to be concerned about all these different things, because if you can't evacuate, if you can't warn, then you're going to have a serious catastrophe. Okay, and then the, the last one. Okay, the, okay, there we go. The, the last one is the Arkansas One plant. Uh -huh. Now, the Arkansas One plant is also fairly new, and, but it's also new near the New Madrid fault line. And, you know, the New Madrid fault line has had, in 1811, it had an 8.0 earthquake. If we had something like that at the Arkansas One, it would be a devastating emergency, devastating catastrophe. And FEMA actually said that if we had something like that, it would be a catastrophe beyond belief in terms of it, the, de the devastation it would produce. Aton Edwards, thank you. And, of course, that list Thanks. that we were talking about from the NRC is on our website, msnbc.com, if you'd like to see that.